Now, I should sound, still sound clear. You sound just like you did. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Okay, because I basically took away your low frequencies. Okay. And we'll see if that makes a difference. And then program three, we had a single-sided deafness. Okay, this is your program three. How does this one sound? It sounds just like it did. Good. Have you tried? Oh, then it went. Ooh. Okay. Have you tried using program three in a noisy environment? Oh yeah. And did it make it worse or better? N didn't change. Okay. Good deal. It's not supposed to change. <laughs> So when they say a programmable ball hall, they're talking about the user being able to change three different programs and then you can select from an infinite number no. of settings? No. When they're talking about a programmable ball hall, they mean I can hook you up to the computer and program the three programs. No. So in the old ball hall, they did have those program um, switches. They had two programs. Well, actually, three programs, but the third one was more for accessories or anything like that. But they would just do a switch instead of you, you know, kind of like what you do where you push the button. But for me to make adjustments, I took a screwdriver to it and oh. either turned it up or turned it down. Oh, is that? <laughs> so, like in your case with the noise, I would turn down the low frequencies, hoping I wasn't compromising the speech. Okay. So it's kind of one of those games where you had to be careful in not turning it down too much, but still giving the patient a little bit more benefit than what they needed. Right. So. Okay. And this one sounds okay to you? Yeah. I mean, your voice sounds fine. Yeah. I get told that quite a bit. <laughs> You're not hearing the woo woo. No, I only heard it once. When I heard it, I told you. Okay. Let me go back to program one. Okay, this is your program one. How's that? Is that better? Uh, you're a little louder now. Okay, I should be. Uh, your voice might be a little tanny or keep, say something else. Okay, I'll just keep talking to you a little bit normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I sound tinny or do you sound tinny? Uh, I've always sounded kind of tinny, but I think that's just people. It's like you watching a video of yourself. You never like the way you sound, right. so that's hard to judge. Kind of like the one we're doing uh, right now. You no. <laughs> you sound pretty good. Okay. Maybe a little tinny, but no. Did, have you already reduced it a little uh, bit? I haven't done anything to it. It sounds good. Okay. Then we will program you. Mm. I don't know why it was being crazy and not hooking up. Hmm. Now then, when you did that, it went bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
No, it just snaps on like it does if it was on your abutment. Okay. The best way for me to hear that. Is through your teeth? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a lot better than that. You got more bone here. Yeah, because you're going directly to the eye. Right. That sounds as good as oh, that's hooking it up there. That sounds as good as hooking it up there. Yeah. You got all that. I want to see that. Here, Sharon. <laughs> you want to see that? Yeah, I want to see it on the camera. Uh, show it. Uh, what do you want to hook up in here? That one? Yeah, or here's the other Hook up the other one. I want you to put that back on and see if you hear the won't, won't, won't. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's on program one, so I don't go off of program one and see if we get the won't, won't, won't. Is this supposed to, if you turn it off and then turn it back on, like take the battery out at night and put it back in, is this supposed to go back to the way you had it set or do you have to start all over every day? It goes back to how I had it set here. So it oh, okay. defaults to this. So it'll uh, always go back to program from one, one in my case. At the default volume level. So if you had uh -huh. turned it up some during the day, it doesn't remember that. Okay. So it doesn't so, remember. So if you find yourself turning it up, like, okay, I'm doing two spots, then that means you need to come back in and see me so I can program you a little bit louder so oh, you're not okay. constantly making the adjustment. All right. Okay, so this is the headband, and this yeah. is what we demoed on you. Yeah, this is what you demoed, and in my case, you let me bar it because I right. insisted on barring the thing. Right. Uh, it works somewhat, pretty, but it doesn't work near as good as this. Right. And then, in order to have a good fitting, it's got to be so tight that it'd give me a headache. Right. So I really didn't learn a lot more by wearing it 24 hours than I did five minutes in your office. Right. You know, it was but about part the of the problem too may be where you're putting it yeah. because you have to think back here you oh, have more I, I, I tried it here, I tried it all over right. the place. Right, and then now the other difference is, is that post is directly into the bone right. whereas this has to go through all the fatty tissue and the skulls and you know all right. that to get that sound through it. So yeah, you right. do get better sound quality once you, we implant you as opposed to the demo. I would say not sound, you get I'd say four times better quality. Okay. Well, I'm not I mean, hearing impaired. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I wanted to say. It's a major difference. Now, there's not a lot of difference if you put it on your teeth. Right. You know, like I was holding right. a minute ago, but you can get a real, you can get a better feeling of what this is go implant's going to feel like if you put that through your teeth right. and get that bone connection there. Yeah. It, it's almost the same as a... Uh, now I'll hire Heavenly you input. to disinfect all my test rods. Huh? I said, I'll hire you to disinfect all my <laughs> test rods. Oh, <no. laughs> and we're doing this 20 times a day. So. You just said she'd have, well, you know, the doctor's office used to have, what do they call them? Side the, Yeah, so they just <laughs> do all that. Right. The only other thing I wanted to mention. Don't forget your test rod. Oh, yeah. Here, Sharon, put that in there, would you? Was being able to wear a ball cap. Now, do all doctors put that where Dr. Bob does, or does some of them put it a different location? It's based off the anatomy of your head. Okay. The anatomy of so, my head is I can wear ball caps right. and hats. The hardest thing to find was a hat like this. And me and Sharon was watching and looking. And in Pigeon Forge, we passed some people that were, uh, uh, help me with the word. Well, um, Amish, uh -huh. and they were wearing hats like this. So I started looking for an Amish shop, and then I went in there, and then I found a hat like this. There you go. So uh, may, maybe it's just because I didn't normally wear a hat, but I needed it for whenever it rained or anything like that. Well, and I know if a person is concerned about wearing a hat, they usually mention that to Dr. Bob, and so he does kind of take that in consideration when he goes and does the surgery. Oh, okay. That, hey, this person is a hat wearer. Yeah, it made a big difference for right. me. And then if I'm working in the yard, if I see so I can get this thing on, right? Oops, you just knocked see, it there off. I knocked it off. That's, That's uh, why you're getting the wont, 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 wont. I didn't <laughs> put this back on yet. Uh, this makes a big difference. Yeah. Keeping that sweat out of your eyes. You know, though, I just saw something. Let me see. Oh, I can. Here, here. And in my case, 
If I'm doing anything, I knock it off on a regular yeah, basis. Put your thing back on. But they have, let me see if they have it for the ball. I have a, I have a patient <laughs> who wears a cochlear implant. Right. And so we had to, and he's a heavy sweater and he does construction. And we had to find him something that would help with the, the, the sweating. moisture and the sweating. Cause he, He's a big man. 